Right. It's um, October the 28th, 2010, and I'm out on my bike before the horrible weather comes because it's apparently it's going to rain and thunder and all sorts of days after today. Even today is a little bit uncertain. Anyway, I come on my bike. Um, somebody come in there. Anyway, I've come on my bike from uh, going on the train from Weston to Yatton because of the dangerous road, and then I've cycled from Yatton to Kingston Seymour, which is where I am now. And some people are just going up the hill on their bikes. Look, people do drive very fast along here, by the way. Um, there's the M5 motorway over there, you'll probably hear in the distance. I came here once before, walked the whole way. Well, I did get the train still from um, Weston, but I walked all the way up here, I remember, and I took some photographs of the Denmead graves. So there's sort of a dual purpose today, partly to go and do a little video of the church at Kingston Seymour and the Denmead graves. I don't know if I'll be able to get inside again. Also, the Somerset Hassles were around this way and they were farmers. So I might be able to pick up some information about that. Plus there's lots of little lanes and um, cycle rides down by the, the coast that I've never been to in my life, even though it's just up the road. Um, Kingston Seymour is not straightforward to get to because of um, a river that comes in from the sea and they've never managed to build a bridge or anything across it yet. Right, well I've just cycled up that hill. I'm quite breathless. I don't smoke anymore, of course, but the last time I stopped at this bridge, I had a fag over there. My lungs are getting better though. Slowly. Oh, I can see a fox going across the field over there. It's a motorway. And there's a great big dog fox. Just run, he's running right up the top of that field over there. Great big dog fox. They're very active lately, Zara's um. Zara's had um, one follow her around the block in, in Whirl, which is a built up area. So that's the M5. That's going to Bristol. I mean, I have been on other bridges in the past, further around by Crooks Peak. Uh, there's a uh, Clevedon over there. I think it's Clevedon. I always get muddled up with Clevedon and Clifton. They're coming this way across the bridge this way. And then we've got the motorway coming up. There's Crooks Peak in the distance on the Mendip Hills. That way goes to Taunton, Bridgewater, Western, and um, lots of other places as well. And then you've got all these cars coming along here, and we can video them all. There we are, there's one, he's going really fast. I'll be getting on the bike again in a minute. I'll try and do a bit of video when I'm off this bridge. Going into Kingston Seymour. There we go, look. There's all the cars. Crooks Peak in the distance. windy I don't know if this is going to turn out the cars travel very fast I'll be glad when I get my hat right we're now going away from the motorway bridge down a road a country lane I'm going to put the camera on the handlebars that's why it might look a bit funny
coming into the village now. There's a nice big apple tree there. Lots of villages, um, cottages I mean, in this village. It's a very old village. This one was featured in a documentary. Hold on a minute. Yeah, this village, I've still got that old video. It was a documentary featuring Kingston Seymour that was involved in a huge tsunami. They think it was a tsunami that arrived here back in the 16th century. I'm right, going to go. There's lots of little lanes to cycle around as well. Back lane, I should be going around the wall eventually. That's what I've come here for today. Yet and two miles, Ham Lane. Oh, I saw it. Ham Lane. Middle Lane. There's the monument. It's Middle Lane up there. Morning. There we go. That's where back where I came from. And then up here we got the church. In a minute. Just a small video of yeah of um, Kingston Seymour in 2010. Myrtle Cottage. Look, some of these would have been here in the past. Some have been renovated. You can normally tell by the roofs. These are new, of course. That's probably a rectory once this building. And here we have. Um, Kingston Seymour Church. Now what I'll do, that's one entrance. I'm going to go around the other way and come in from the other side as well. It's called All Saints Church, Kingston Seymour. I'm just going to cycle around. There's a ditch, like a moat, that goes all the way around it. There's Barbary House. That looks pretty old, doesn't it? Kingston Seymour Village Hall and there's actually a public walkway as well. They've got lots of little plaques on the wall. I'll have a look at them later. And there's the church, look. This this spire. Not the most common of features in Somerset, the spires. Like a moat going all the way around it. Of course the locals will know all the village walks probably. The old schoolhouse. See now, Dave Coley's ancestors probably attended that in the past. See the old schoolhouse. I'm just getting off the bike a minute. That's probably the vicarage up there, look. But anyway, anything. Like this. So we've got smart water security. There's a nice little entrance coming in this way, I always think. It's autumn now, so you can see little bits of the church through the trees. Squirrels climbing up the trees there. So I've got a circuit on a little island actually. See there's, look at that there, I bet you anything that's the walkway. Which you can't always take bikes on, unfortunately. Beware deep water. The ducks are guarding the the moat. Might just be able to squeeze from my bike to this narrow gate. I have been and done all the graves here, so I'm gonna go straight over to the Denmead graves a minute. So I'm just going to park up. Excuse me, somebody. I just want to borrow your grave for a minute. Who is it? Alfie Griffin, who died in 1864. No, born in 1864, died 1930-something. And it looks like, I don't know, Laura Griffin. She was 1866 to 19, looks like 54. So these would have been neighbours of the Denmeads here. 
There's another griffin that he died in 1919, aged 23. And his sister, Winifred Mary Griffin, she died in 1982, age 88. He could have died as a result of the First World War. Look. In fact, there's a very big griffin presence. Frank Wallace Griffin died 1981, age 75, and his wife Winifred Mary Griffin, who died 2001, age 95. See, I didn't do all the Griffins. I didn't do everybody. But there's, um, there's another Dorothy Ella Griffin, 1977. She was 74 when she died, and her husband, probably, Arthur Reginald Griffin, 1988, age 81. And Stookies. A lot of these pe people married each other anyway. Yeah, there's another Ada Annie Griffin. Ernest Bernard Griffin of Kingston Seymour died in 1950, age 75. So there's a lot of Griffins. And then if we got uh, over here, we've got to start getting to the Demnids in a minute. Yeah, we've got here, we got John Denmead. Look. He died January the 19th, age um, 1872, age 75. So he was, he's one of the old ones. And his wife Hester, Hester Payne was her maiden name, who died February the 7th, 1881, age 84. And also their son John of this parish, who died December the 24th, look, Christmas Eve, 18, could be 91, age 59. And <coughs> Hannah. The wife of the above, who died 1896, age 82. So that is Dave Coley's relatives there. And we've got another one here, Ernest. Son of Charles and Jane Denmead of this parish, who died February the 29th, 1872, age 8 months. Also of William Henry, their son, who died March the 3rd, 1878, age 12 years. And then this one we won't be able to read because it's full of calaplaca. It's more than likely it is a Denmead grave as well. So that's the Denmead. There are more here. There's a William Denmead and his wife buried here. There's lots of them here actually. And there'll be women who've taken on other names. I've got to think I've got the name Wallace on my bit of paper. Let me just have a look. I brought a piece of paper with me. Did I put Wallace on there? No, but I can the name does sound familiar. Yes, Wallace, look. There it is. The memory, I think somebody married a Wallace. The memory of James Wallace, a Demi probably would have married the Wallace, see, who died the 22nd day of June, 1864, age 69. Blessed me, oh, blessed are the dead, um, something or other which die in the Lord. Right, anyway. Also, it could be Hannah, his wife, who died second day of December 1877, aged 77 years. So, yeah, there is a Wallace. I've got Wallace. There's another Wallace here, look. John Wallace, who died 1942, aged 74, and his wife, Frances Louisa, who died January the 29th, 1969, aged 94. So that's a Wallace grave, everyone. Right, I'm going to turn off now because that could be 20 minutes. There's my bike over there for part two of Sheila's visit to Denmead. I'm in the Church of Holy Trinity, Denmead at the moment, having a more thorough look round at the church and the graves. Part two will follow.